everyone, welcome back to Sight Unseen. My name is Zoe, and if you are new here, then thanks so much for clicking on this video, and I hope you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have been watching my videos for the past week or so that I've been making them, then welcome back. So I quickly wanted to address something that I've gotten a few texts about that may be confusing to some of you guys. Um, I did upload a video on Thursday, and um, it was a... 10 best things about being blind video and unfortunately that video had to be deleted because I had written the things down on a piece of paper and I realized when I was watching the video to you know see if it uploaded properly that it did show my entire school name and logo on the back and I couldn't really have that in a video so I decided to delete it I will end up reshooting it and reposting it so that is why a video didn't go up on Thursday. I know that I said my uploading schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and it still is, but unfortunately because of some mishaps, that video had to be deleted. Also, a quick um, kind of informational piece. If you guys hear noises in the background, my brothers are taking out the dog, so that's what that is. I thought I should just clear that up. If you hear like walking, talking, that's what's happening in the background. So I'm so sorry for the extremely long intro. Um, so, I've seen you guys, a lot of you guys have DM'd me and asked if I did mind making this video, and so I decided, sure, why not? Um, I did a blog post about it. Uh, speaking of, if you are not a follower of my blog, you definitely should be. Um, and it is, what equipment I use. What better time than when I just got it? I just got all this equipment yesterday, so it is brand new. Um, it was not used before. This is totally brand new equipment. Um, I did have equipment when I was in middle school, and then unfortunately, when I moved, I had to give it back to the state, but this equipment will be totally mine. So, I got it from a local organization, but the actual brand that makes this equipment is Humanware. They are not an or uh, a U.S. organization. Um, hashtag not sponsored, but they should definitely sponsor me. <laughs> um, but, uh, I, you know, without further ado, let's uh, show you guys what equipment I use. Um, first off, I do use a cane. Uh, I won't show you guys that just because it's kind of boring, um, but I do use a cane if you're interested to see, you know, maybe some skills that you learn with a cane, comment down below. I would be totally happy to do a cane video. That's fine. Um, I'm also in the process of getting a guide dog, so uh, that is another mobility aid that I will be using. So we'll start with the first pocket. It's not the most interesting, but, you know, I don't know. You do all the pockets, I guess. Um... So, first off, I have earphones. So these earphones are Apple ones. They're made for iPhones, and they're also made for um, just whatever use you want to use them for. I just kind of have them in there in case I want to listen to music, or in case I'm doing an independent video in class. Um, I also have this charger. It's uh, made for the Explorer 5. It's a lot of chargers in this pocket. I also have a charger for the camera that goes with my Prodigy. It's a camera charger. Um, I have a charger for the actual Prodigy. It's for the tablet. And then I have this USB, this HDMI connector, so all that kind of stuff. Then I kind of just have an extra cable. It's uh, made for like Samsung devices, sort of. So, I don't know. It's just in there in case I need it. Um, then I have hand sanitizer. I know that's a really weird thing to have, but when you have equipment, it kind of gets dirty and gross. Just make sure it doesn't leak on your stuff. Yeah. Oh, good tip. Yeah, you have to really make sure this thing is like closed. Um, luckily, it's just in here with the chargers, not the actual <laughs> equipment. <laughs> But I do have this because the equipment kind of gets dirty and it's just good to kind of clean off your hands after you, you know, use it all day. And then, um, some of the last things I have in here are, these are different ports. Um, since Humanware is not a U.S. organization, they have different ports. This one is for France, but I really don't know, uh, what these two are for. I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm not going to try and say which country is there for because I don't actually know. Um, this is a stylus. It goes with the Prodigy. Um, it's just to kind of avoid fingerprints, stuff like that. It's just nice. 
Um, the last thing in this pocket, I know you guys are probably so bored by now, but it's called the OrCam. OrCam is a vision organization, and this is kind of just a portable charger in case some of my equipment dies, so that's why I have that. Um, oh, yeah, so I guess Humanware and OrCam are the places that I'm getting my equipment from. That's the one thing. At the end so, of the video, we'll mention the costs. Oh, yeah, so as, um, so by the way, the cameraman is my brother Blaze. Um, so if you hear him talking in the background, he's kind of just making small comments. I also alternate between cameraman. Sometimes it is my brother Finian. Sometimes it is my brother Blaze. Um, it kind of just depends on who in that situation is available. So, next piece of equipment. This is the camera that connects to the top of my Prodigy. It is called the Kodak Pix Pro SL25. I'll turn it on. Hold on. So it's a very nice camera, um, high quality. I, ooh, okay, I think used this camera is about $290. If you get it new, like I did, I think it's about $400. So it is definitely pricey, um, but it's it's a great camera. So uh, this is really awesome. I'll show you how it works later on and stuff like that. Um, the next thing I got, is this large print Bluetooth keyboard. This is also by the brand Humanware. This is about $150, which seems like a lot for a keyboard. It is, <laughs> but it is a very like nicely made, um, it really does feel nice. It's not like a crappily made keyboard. Um, and it's also large print because I have to lean so close to keyboards and so this makes it so much easier for me to be able to see. So I love this. This is super awesome. How much was the power bank? Uh, I think the power bank was about a hundred and some dollars, which is very expensive. But we're gonna call OrCam the Gucci of vision equipment because they basically are. <laughs> they are very expensive. So I'm actually not exactly sure which brand this is from. It is a monocular. I'm sure you guys have heard of binoculars. Uh, I only have vision in one eye, so why waste money on two lenses? Buy means two, and my means one, so that's what it means. Yeah. Um, so this is by, let's see, it's by the brand Carson. It is a 6x18 near focus 10 inch, like, monocular. It just, it, you know, it's just like binoculars. You just use it like a binocular. I don't really know what else to say about it. Now, how much is that? This is about $700. Or at least mine was. Now, I don't know where you guys are getting yours from. Different organizations will sell them for cheaper. So I actually don't want you guys to, like, watch this video. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is the dog. Um, I don't want you guys to watch this video and be like, oh, well, this, you know, this, she said it'd be this much, and it's cheaper, or it's more expensive. This is just how much I, you know, have researched, and this is how much they were from the organization that I got them from. So, just saying. Disclaimer. Um... So then, this is the Explorer 5. It is made by Humanware. It, I think, is about $750. It is pretty expensive. <laughs> um, but it's it's very helpful. So this is, it looks like this. It's 5 inches, hence the name Explorer 5. When you pull out the, oh, okay, that just literally blinded you me. You did that every shoot of the video. So it has these lights it's basically an electronic magnifying glass you hold it in front of things and it like magnifies it's you know it's it's not used as a camera it does not have good camera quality like at all so like don't be like yeah it's a camera like it's not even close you can also put it up like that so when you're reading a book you can kind of just read it like that um but this is very helpful it's about 750 dollars um, some of the features on it, this is zoom in, zoom out, and then this is freeze frame, just like if you're reading a section of a book, and then you're like, oh, I want to keep on this section, you can kind of just take a picture, and even if you keep reading, it'll just have a picture frozen of whatever you took a picture of, so. Um, so now on to my personal favorite piece of equipment, which, should, I mean, it's... Listen, it's pretty cool. It's probably everybody's personal favorite. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
So this is the Prodigy Connect 12. The Prodigy Connect 12, I think my version of it, I know there's a few different versions or models, makes, whatever you call them. I think my version was about $3,995. So basically like $4,000. Um, $4,000. That's how much mine was. I know that they're, well, that's because mine actually came with a few different pieces of equipment also. It came with a few, like, different extensions. So really, like, some of them are $2,000, some of them are $2,500, some of them are $3,000. Um, it really just depends on which one you're getting, who you're getting them from, stuff like that. So, again, the name is the Prodigy Connect 12. Um, it's like this. You can hold it like a briefcase. So to open it up, you put it like this, flat, and you kind of hold the bottom of it, and then you hold the briefcase of it, and you open it like this. And I will actually turn around and show you guys. So right now it's not on, but you can see at the very bottom here it says human wear. Down here you can put books or pieces of paper. And so I'm going to turn the tablet on. Where is it? Right here? I think so. Okay. So we'll go to the main carousel. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can adjust the contrast on it. Mine is the green on black because it's very bright and easy for me to see. So this is the main vision carousel. First you have help, settings, gallery, magnifier, which here actually... It's so bright that it does not look good on camera. So this is magnifier right now. It's literally just magnifying my shirt. If you can see, there's lights. I'll turn it around. You're going to blind the camera. On the back of it. And it basically just... Is that possible? You can literally just put things right here, because actually the tablet is supposed to go like this, but it's just easier for me to show you guys. It's, it's easier for me to show you if it's like this, because you guys can see it better, but it really goes like this, and it just looks like that, and then you can like put things under it and see. Um, now, I'm not going to go into super depth about like all the features this thing has and all of that. If you would like a video where I do go into super depth, I would be happy to make that, but... Just please, um, if you really want that video, um, I'm actually going to try to put a little I card up here. Um, if you guys could just vote yes or no, because I'd be happy to make it, but it's just up to you guys. So then this says distance. This is where the camera comes in. So the camera can either connect here or here, depending on, like, if you have something on the board all the way over there, you want it to be on, you know, the side that's closer to where the board is. So it connects like this. So you just stick it right in. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Then you click on the distance. So it takes a minute to load and kind of just process that the camera's in there. Give it one second, I think. So now it can literally see you guys. Um, Me, filming the camera. Yeah. So, and then you can actually take pictures on this and, like, save them for later. And then you can, like, write all over the pictures that you took. So, this thing is super, super awesome. Um, and then the camera just automatically shuts as soon as you turn off the distance mode. Um, and then here's books. Here's calculator. I'm not really going to go into those. Um, something else I want to show you on here is if you go like this, it transforms into a... Samsung tablet, or not Samsung, I guess I would say Android, um, and it has all those apps like Google Drive, YouTube, Google Docs, Google Photos, Google everything, and then I downloaded some apps of my own that I think would be kind of helpful because who doesn't want to play games and look at their social medias in the middle of class because I don't actually have to put this away ever, so I have music, Netflix, Hulu, Photomath, Instagram, Snapchat, Classroom, iXL. Um, the good thing is she never has to return this. Yeah, and... so the equipment I had in Maryland, I did have to return it because it belonged to the state. This is mine. I do not have to return this. This is mine. It is mine forever. I can keep it. It's totally mine. So how I like to use this especially is usually 
I will have the keyboard like this. I'll have the tablet out like this. And it's basically like a computer almost. Like you can use, I mean, this thing has so many, it can be a vision tool, it can be a tablet, it can be a computer typed thing. Like it's crazy. I mean, the possibilities with this thing are really endless. Um, this I got from the company Humanware. I will try to kind of link anything in the description below, like, you know, the stuff. I don't know how much of it I'll actually be able to link, but I'm going to try. You know, I don't know how many of you guys are visually impaired, but um, definitely like, I would look into that. Um, I will say, just a little disclaimer, um, this stuff is actually made for low vision people. So if you are totally blind, some of these things might not be helpful to you because the stuff I have is made for me. It's not made for totally blind people. Um, there's a difference between being totally blind and visually impaired. So all of this stuff is made for visually impaired people. Um, for example, you know, totally blind people wouldn't be able to use a monocular. They wouldn't be able to, um, you know, this distance camera. They couldn't use it all, any of it. Yeah, they, it wouldn't benefit them because they can't see anything anyway. Um, you know, like, the keyboard, okay, would be fine, like, great, but, well, even then, no, it's large print, so large print doesn't make a difference for them. So, like, the camera's stuff... still on. Huh? The camera is still on. No, it just beeps. Here, you should turn it off. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, it wants to come out. Nope, I said no. Okay. So, this equipment is not made for totally blind people. Please don't watch this and think that I am, you know, saying that all this equipment I have is made for blind people. No, this is made for me. I mean, it's not made for me, but it's made for my circumstances. My vision specialist recommended this for me. Um, you know, your vision person might recommend something different, so please do not take, you know, my advice on everything. You know, this is made for visually impaired people. It's not made for people that are totally blind. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and looking at all the equipment. Um, I am just so blessed and so grateful to have these organizations that work so hard to get me the things I need. So thank you guys so incredibly much for watching my videos. We just hit 20 subscribers. That is the stupidest thing I could ever say. Um, 20 subscribers is not a big deal, but frankly, I'm ha you know I'm happy that we're there. It's it's a big deal to me. So even though it might not be the biggest deal to you know somebody who has 60 million subscribers, like I am happy about it because I've only made two videos. That's gonna be my third. So. I think it's a big deal. So I hope, or wait, maybe this is my fourth. I can't actually remember. If you guys were wondering, you cannot buy the tablet by itself, but oh. the tablet does does come out of the case. It does come out of the thing, but this tablet is like it's specifically it's specifically made for the Prodigy. Like Android puts their technology into it, but this specific tablet is actually made by Prodigy. If you look in the right bottom corner you can see the little human prodigy person oh yeah hold on. Um, oh yeah so see this is like this is made and it just takes your box to make carousel so um i just didn't want to point that out you cannot buy this tablet by itself it's not come by itself i at least i don't think it does i've looked very much into it and I, you have to get the one thousand dollar case yeah <laughs> um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i've said this twice but just to officially end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my equipment. Um, I will be back with another video on Tuesday. It'll probably be the video that was supposed to be posted on Thursday. Um, so until you see the next video, I want you guys to give this video a big like and make sure to leave a comment. Vote up in the i card up above. And also, just uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. So, bye!